Hey, yo, we're back. Entered a obligatory intro here. As you know, I just finished the split mod, really freaking amazing mod, honestly, 10 out of 10. Um, and so, you know, after every mod comes a tier list, and as always, oh boy, boss tier list, baby. Just a list of the seven bosses in the split mod for now. Who knows, maybe more will come later on. But anyway, let's get right into it. This will probably be a shorter video anyways. But yeah, we have um, five tiers. We have awesome as hell, which are like bosses that just stand out so much that they are like special on their own. Like if there was just that one boss in the mod, it would make it a really good mod, like very good. Fantastic is like, this is an amazing boss. It goes so well. It just doesn't have the awesomeness or the, the ultra thing that makes it awesome as hell. Good, which is a really good boss, honestly, like not the best best but not that bad okay which is a boss that has decent stuff in it and like you know it's all right but it, it, it just doesn't make it up there and meh which is like eh, it could be better it could be changed um spoiler alert i don't think this tier will get used but yeah all right as you can see we have all seven bosses on the bottom and i actually did see a um video from dread soul about his ranking of the split mod bosses so I think I'm going to go something with that kind of system where I'm going to look at their character, their actual fight, and the difficult... Well, okay, that, that is just a fight. And I guess just how much fun I had while fighting the boss, honestly. So yeah, let's just get into that. As you know, first fight down here, we have Spirit, the first mod boss in Split Mod. And honestly, like, if I had to say difficulty-wise, this was a very easy boss, if not the easiest boss we fought on this list. Um, I really can't think of any easier ones, so yeah. Easy, so it's a little bit down, but I don't think that's too much of a bad thing, especially since it's the first boss of the mod. And anyways, let's move it on. Uh, the, also the enjoyability I had during the fight, I thought it was a pretty fun fight, honestly. Like, it kept you active most of the time. Sometimes you're a little bit out of the way, which was like, oh, oh well. Although, I will say for character, very good way to start out the mod. Like, you get this, like, kind of weird remote, and then you just call up and get this little cool little theme. Up and summon the fight! Spirit! Connecting. Please stay on the line. Alright. Hello. And then once you defeat her, she, like, starts playing Mysterious Person, which is the soundtrack for her. And, and you know, you defeat her. And it's really sick sounding. Along with, like, the whole lore that she's now stranded and just has to stay in your world. That's really cool. Um... But yeah, I would say, honestly, this boss goes in top of good tier. This is a really good boss. It's just kind of basic in terms of, like, the fight. I think the, like, the character and the, uh, kind of visual surrounding it is genius. But, you know, it could be a little bit harder or, you know, just more interesting. Next up, we have One Shot. Now, um, out of all the bosses on this list, I think One Shot is one of the only two I've died to. Uh, first try at least. So, that honestly bumps it up. Difficulty, yes. I would say the difficulty is there. Especially if you're fighting him in your the actual biome, which I think you're supposed to fight him in the, um, stranded ship biome. But I'm not sure I'm on that. Um, I kind I like his lore though. Like, like, that he was just a pirate and he was framed and tele- Spoiler alert. Teleported into the ground with his giant ship and died. Kind of. But I, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. I also, this is apparently- I think maybe it's supposed to be like a kind of, um, I don't remember, like a bandana instead of like some kind of smile. I thought it was always a smile. Uh, okay, you're getting off task. Get on! Anyways, the fight, honestly, pretty difficult, I'd say. Did I was having fun? Yeah, I was having fun while I was doing this. And honestly, I'd say, um, character-wise, he's a, he's a pretty funny character in my opinion. Especially with, like, the kind of synergy with Mirage later on. I would say that uh one shot gets up into fantastic areas like the bottom of fantastic because i think he just has everything a kind of base boss would want to be all right next up we have menace menace very interesting uh character honestly like i thought the fight was a pretty difficult one that i think it was oh wait no yeah this i did die to three bosses now i remember and menace was one of the, well, the three i died to yeah difficulty was there i could say that for sure however was i enjoying the fight yeah, kinda. Although you can choose with platforms that bring it down a little bit. And then the lore, I thought was alright. I feel like there just could be more lore to Menace. I thought the uh the spirit that was possessing her was pretty funny. That that was a funny moment. With incredible weather powers and my political knowledge, 
Um, so that brings it up definitely. But honestly, overall, I don't know. I enjoyed Spirit more than this boss. I just feel like this one could use a bit more. Although its death animation was super funny. Um, so honestly, I think it goes in good tier. I think a little below Spirit because, I don't know. I just personally enjoyed Spirit a little bit more. And I think it fit its tier. A little bit more than Menace. Next up, we have Cut Off Paraffin. <laughs> yeah! Oh, it's our good old friend Paraffin. Oh my god. What do I have to say about this boss? The spawning is really, like, funny. Just like, oh my god, it's the ultimate adversary. Nope, it's just some fairy weirdo thing. And then you fight it, and oh my god, it's fight is so much fun. This is a, a hell of a fun fight. Not only is it fast-paced at certain points, but it also has, like, the funny animations. It has just attacks that are really goofy and cool. But it also is like, a little bit serious. Like, you will die if you're not careful. And I think it strikes a very, very perfect balance between uh, seriousness and just goofy nature. Uh, Lore-wise, yeah, I'd say it's pretty good with lore, too. So, yeah, because it's a really fun fight. It's just, it's just an amazing, like, kind of... Actually, yeah, no, amazing fight. A really fun backstory. And just a really, like, fun personality. I, I, I gotta give this our first awesome as hell, boss. This is just such a good boss and it was such an unexpected twist from a mod like this like oh my god next up we have mirage and mirage is a very interesting boss in my opinion because you fight her right after the mech bosses and okay unless you know you find her accidentally before defeating all of them which i did i think the loot from mirage is really good i only got the dream of the butterfly but that was a super good tier weapon um, and while I was fighting her, I had a lot of fun, actually. Like, surprisingly, sure, I, like, maybe I had more fun with Paraffin, but it was still, like, really exhilarating. Uh, although I will say, I think, like, one or two of the attacks were a little bit easy to dodge. Um, a little side note, though, the healing was actually a pretty cool concept. I like how she drinks it, you know, to get good health. And to top it all off, she has a synergy lore with one shot, which is really cool. So you get to actually learn a little bit more about Mirage than you normally would. And I find that really fascinating. When the boss, like, has more lore and stuff, it just makes that, like, you know, boss a lot more enjoyable to just understand. So honestly, I would say this goes in fantastic. Um, I think it goes above one shot in my opinion. I feel like, I don't know, I thought it was a little bit more difficult. Actually, no, it was not that more difficult, but I felt like the attacks were more exhilarating. All right, now we move on to a bit of a controversial topic, Insurgent. I know a lot of people think this boss is hard or just don't like it. I liked Insurgent, like, a lot. I thought it was really fun pacing. Its music was amazing. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. All these bosses' musics just... Up there, up there with Dokoro stuff. Um, but anyways, Insurgent's, like, the theme was great. The fight was super exhilarating. And honestly, like, sure, there was not a lot of lore to it. But, like, you know, personally with my steers and stuff, I like to make lore ups. That was fun. But I will say, that death animation was my favorite death animation of any modded boss ever. Like, the sword just... Spoiler. Sword just comes down, strikes it right in the head, and it just explodes. That's hella cool. Also, I felt like some of the attacks were choreographed pretty good, except for the skull attack. I think that's a little bit annoying, I will admit. The only thing I think that brings this boss down... Um... And honestly, character-wise, not really much there. And it's kind of sad, because, like, I really like this boss. It's kind of a guilty pleasure. But if it really does no, not too much lore, yeah, it's going to bring it down. So, honestly, because it's just a guilty pleasure of mine, I'm putting it in the top of good tier. So, you know, it, it's just got to be good. It just lacks in lore, and it's one of the attacks is pretty unfair, in my opinion. Bruh. All right, we're back. As you can see, kind of got rid of the, uh... Okay, Matt, we're, we're, we're on to our last boss, and this, it blows every other boss on here out of the water, except for maybe Paraffin, but even then. Seth is the hardest boss I have ever fought. Now, that might be a little bit, uh, cap, not cap as in, like, oh, I'm actually lying, but cap as in, that shouldn't be how it is, but yeah, uh, this boss killed me so much. Actually, to be fair... I feel like it was more of no hit set that really made me angry. But, I mean, hey, we're just talking, we're, we're talking overall. Like, while I really don't like no hit Seth, because uh, it's very hard, Seth in general, very good boss. The difficulty's top tier, 
and I don't mean unfair top tier, I mean top tier, it's awesome. It's lore is really, okay, depending on who you are. Yeah, no, the lore is fun. Let's just say that. It's like, it's, loot is absolutely god tier, and you have such a fun time fighting him, even if you die to him a lot. It, it's just still a blast, honestly. And so, like, you know, the fact that you're, like, he's presented as the champion of the world. Somebody who can't be beaten. Somebody who could actually, like, go up against the Moon Lord and fight him and kill him. But we did it. We killed him and flawless. So that tells you that when you fight this boss and kill him, you feel like a god. And that's what I think a great Terraria boss should do. Make you feel like you have done something that is just so difficult, you feel like you could do anything after that. So honestly, that is why Seth is the best boss in the split mod. No cap. But yeah, as you can see, that's about it. That is my tier list for the split mod bosses. Now, there definitely wasn't a lot of bosses in this mod. And I think if I had to say, like, if predict... I'd say maybe one or two more will be added someday. I'm only going off of, like, what mods nowadays do. But, I mean, hey, even if it doesn't, it, it, this is still an amazing mod. No matter if it's the bosses, the weapons, the characters, the lore, or anything else. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Next episode, or should I say video, might take a while to come out. That one's going to be a little bit, you know, a little bit, a lot to work on. But yeah, my name is Just The Joe, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Coming to you soon. Goodbye.